I, first of all, we're not expecting a no. Uh, we're hoping for yes. Uh, the facts are overwhelmingly in favor of this, uh, this project going forward. It will create tens of thousands of jobs in both countries. It will address a national security issue for the United States. So we're hopeful that when the final State Department um, review comes in, which uh, could well be this very month, uh, we, uh, uh, we would expect it to be consistent with its previous statements and then of course everything would be in place for a yes. I, I understand that and that's the line that, uh, that you've been repeating for quite some time and yet there is a difference in the last few days. We're going down there, uh, the Prime Minister is saying in interviews that uh, this thing has been studied to death. You know, what can we get from studying it anymore? John Baird saying, we just want an answer, even if it's a no, let's just get on with it. These are, these are, are substantive changes in, in our tone down there. But I'm wondering, when we start telling the Americans how to run this process, how is that moving them closer to a yes? Well, I don't think we're, we're doing that, in fact, but what we're, what we're expressing is the desire that we get on with the job-creating project. I mean, after all, the longer we wait, the longer it takes to create uh, these tens of thousands of jobs in, in both countries. And, uh, you know, this has got to be uh, one of and probably the most studied and analyzed natural resource project in the history of the world. So, you know, the question is, when will a decision be made? And that's the, uh, uh, the, that's the essence of, uh, of what you're hearing in those, two, uh, in those two quotes. I'm wondering, though, Minister, whether there's another thing that's been missing. Some people have been saying this in any case, that despite uh, our arguments about uh, energy security for the United States and jobs, the very things you've been talking about, there's also the question of political cover for the president, uh, who has made it very clear in the past that he wanted to see more action from Canada. He said that in his second inaugural address. Where are those uh, oil and gas emission uh, regulations that we've been waiting for for so long and that might actually help this process along. Well, that's the responsibility, as you know, of uh, Leona Gluka, the uh, Minister of the Environment, and we're working with industry to get the, that done, and we will. But I have to tell you, I, I think you know, uh, the United States doesn't have comparable rules, and uh, to my knowledge, uh, doesn't have any intention of introducing them. And let's remember also uh, that greenhouse gas emissions in Canada per capita are lower than the United States, as are greenhouse gas emissions in relation to our economy, that is, in relation to GDP. So we don't have anything to apologize for. The, uh, the oil sands in total uh, represent one one thousandth of global emissions, and this project is only a part of that. Uh, that doesn't mean uh, we don't have a responsibility as citizens of the world to do, our, uh, to do our part, to bring those numbers down, and we're working on that. I personally haven't heard anything from, uh, from the U.S. administration uh, suggesting uh, that we have certain things to do that they want us to do that would would uh, uh, would would change the dial on this matter. But I I'm not speaking to everyone, of course, and uh, uh, you know someone may have got that message, but uh, I didn't hear it.